Uh, hey, Emmy, how do you say spinach gomai in Japanese? Are you filming now? Yeah, I'm filming now. So I've been working on this recipe over the last couple of days and I finally now have the perfect mix. It's Japanese wife approved. I approved it. Approved it. <laughs> she approves and it's really delicious. It's authentic. Stick around for that. I'm going to show you how to make spinach go maie. Today we're going to make one of my favorite Japanese dishes. It's very simple to make actually too. You get that sesame nai flavor plus you get a little bit of sweetness and best of all it's spinach and we all know that spinach is super good for you right? Here's our boiling water. Here I've got 300 grams of mature spinach that we're going to blanch in that boiling water for 30 to 45 seconds. Now if you're using baby spinach you want to reduce that cooking time to 15 to 30 seconds. Let's transfer some of the spinach into the water. After blanching and straining, I'm giving the spinach a quick cold water rinse so that the spinach cools down and stops cooking. So now we want to squeeze that excess water out. Oh yeah! All of that spinach just turned into this. It's like the size of a baseball, pretty much. We're gonna add half a tablespoon of soy sauce to the spinach and then squeeze this out as well. This is going to get that extra soy sauce flavor in and through the spinach while also ridding any bitterness caused by the oxalic acid contained within the greens. So now I'm going to cut the spinach to size about one inch in length. Just gonna transfer this into a bowl. So here we've got four tablespoons worth of sesame seeds, white sesame seeds. And we're just simply toasting these on a medium high heat for about four minutes or so. So here we have our toasted sesame seeds. They are a little bit darker now. They smell absolutely amazing. It kind of reminds me of popcorn actually and they taste really good. Toasting the sesame seeds here is going to bring out that extra sesame flavor. That little extra effort is going to go a long way. So here we have our seeds in our food processor and we're just going to grind this down a little bit just to get more and more of that sesame goodness. Now if you don't have a food processor you can just use a mortar and pestle and if you don't have mortar and pestle well you can just skip this step entirely and just add sesame seeds and just mix it with the sauce. But do take this extra step if you can because it'll make your spinach gourmet that much better. My food processor is called the Ninja but I think it's the noisiest ninja around. Imagine a ninja walking around making this sound. Yeah, the samurais would... That ninja. Anyways, I'm gonna mute the sound so you don't have to listen to this. It's smelling so delicious. Now it doesn't smell like popcorn. It smells like something else. Uh, it probably smells like sesame seeds. That's exactly what it is. Now we are on to our final steps and it's going to be ready in about 30 seconds. So what we're going to do here is add our spinach. And now we just add all of the ingredients to this bowl, mix it all up and you have yourself a delicious spinach guma. So first of all, let's add all of that delicious sesame seed goodness there. Powder of sesame seeds. Yum. Half a tablespoon of sugar. One tablespoon of soy sauce. Add four tablespoons of dashi. This dashi is very easy to make, by the way. Lastly, we have one teaspoon of delicious sesame oil. All we gotta do now is just mix this bowl of goodness up. So that's that. It's all mixed well. It smells absolutely delicious. Healthy, delicious goodness. Let's give it a try. 
I can't resist. Oh yeah, that is good. I can't get over the fact how healthy and simple and delicious this dish is. Hey, are you still here watching? Well then please consider supporting by simply subscribing because it takes me a lot of learning, hard work, and a few days just to produce one video. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you on the next one.